Hi everyone, my name is Murstag Runs and welcome back to Lords of Numria. We're gonna play this other game once again. Last time we played this game, we basically bought some expansions. If you can see, I leveled up a little bit off screen. I'm level 53 at the moment. Miss Seaweed helped me a little bit and she actually got me up some nice levels. So guys, I'm gonna try to kill a little bit of more bosses in the game for you guys. So we're gonna do our best right now. So we're gonna press C. We are gonna start by the Dark Lost Wasteland. So we're gonna start with Defeat Crystal. Wait, we already did that, didn't we? No, we're gonna defeat Crystal Ultimus, defeat Sartul, defeat Audiori, and defeat Commander, blah blah blah. So we're gonna just teleport right away and we're gonna try to kill them all because, well, here's one of the things that I really like about this game. There are just a lot of bosses. Yes, there's a lot of new content in the game as well. I know that, but I first still need to, you know, level up a little bit. You can see my gear is a little bit different. I bought the Crystal Cave expansion. I leveled up a little bit, of course, with the help of my... Good friends called Miss Seaweeds. If you want to search her up, it's really easy to find. Like how I say her username is. But yeah, anyway, we are gonna try to fight so many stuff as we can. So we're gonna start finding Sartul. It's not. It's probably not gonna be that hard. So it's gonna be starting with a magic attack. We should probably be fine-ish to actually kill them all. I have actually no idea because I don't know how strong they are. Like that's that's the problem. I have no idea how strong his uh, attacks are. Uh, anything else. So we're just gonna drink a potion. We're gonna back off a little bit and hopefully not die. We should first get his guards down. There we go. He has not a lot of HP. That's the only good thing. This is like the only good thing that I basically could say about this game. It does not have a lot of... Uh, some bosses are really, really strong and some bosses are just really weak like this one. Like he doesn't really deal that much damage and at the same time that was really, really easy to actually kill them. So we're gonna continue. We're just gonna try to rush it so quickly as you can. If you're wondering what weapon am I using, I'm using the Obsidian Blade. This weapon can, of course, be found by the expansion pack of the Crystal Cave. It's, you know, not that hard. And yeah, we're just gonna do it so quickly as we can. So we're just gonna level up at the same time once we actually try to defeat these bosses. I have no idea if I can actually do this solo because well, I did them all already, but I didn't do them solo. Like, that's one question. Then now I level 70. Like, this dude seems to be a little bit more dangerous for us. So we are gonna watch out a little bit. So we're gonna see what his m minimum DPS is per second. Like, how much DPS does he give me? Like, I deal a nice amount of damage with this weapon. I know that. But I don't know how much damage this dude does. Uh, he does around 5% to 10% damage on me. So we do around the same damage on each other. At least on health-wise. Like, not the exact same stats. But, like, loss of lack of health when you get hits. That's the only thing that I would say is probably the same. So, that's just the second one where we got down. So, we're gonna move on to the last one right now. Like, we are really, really rushing this. I don't know what's wrong, but I like rushing. I like rushing. Like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna defeat... We're gonna defeat this, this dude. And then, you know, we can go to the ancient mountains. And basically stop the, um, basically just finish the storyline, I would say. I think that's the main, uh, quest line that you can basically do. And oh my god, the effects. Okay, let's see. Ah, Mystic World is finally here. You don't still get it, do you? What do I don't get? Chasing Sergius only makes him stronger. I must admit, you were suppressed. We all in a mystery, did you? And further for you, I'm only most loyal sergeants you will ever meet. Yeah. Today's duty has began. Well then. Interesting. Wait, you have a guardian that has a lot of HP? Oh god. Oh god. You have 40 uh, you have 47 8k HP. This dude has 15k left. So we need to watch out a little bit. Probably just walk around the enemy because well, lucky enough this game has the easily made uh, zombie follow script. Basically it tries just to follow you on your last position. So if you just run around a little bit, you can basically dodge all their attacks. Like it's not that hard. Like that's a good thing to know. That they don't really do that much of damage. And we level up. So that's gonna be a next level again. So we are just gonna try to get the commander down. And then we're gonna move to the last dude. That actually needs to be killed for the main story. After that we should probably focus on leveling again. And so we become like level 100 or 200 or something. And then maybe we should try the tower. I know I need to play in a public server for that tower. But you know I'm gonna do my best for a solo. Maybe then I join a different group. So there we go. Woo! That's easy. Yeah, that was really easy, and I got a lot of gold for doing that. I got 100k gold! Holy moly, that's a lot. Uh, teleport skill. Ancient Mountains. There we go. Boom! Like, we're doing a great job. 
And I had the itchy nose, so that's a bad feeling that I'm gonna get, so... Oh god, I'm probably gonna end up dead soon. Like, I do not trust it. I always have a bad feeling. Whenever I get an itchy nose, you guys all know that. Whenever I get an itchy nose, something bad is gonna happen. And, you know, that's not good. You know, and why am I screen green? I don't like that. There we go. Woo! Woohoo! We're gonna rush it. And then uh, we're first gonna take the Orc Mage Chief and then later on that, that dude over there. And then we probably can take down the boss. So we have, well, 11 health potions left. We should be fine-ish to actually kill these dudes because, well, we deal around a couple thousand damage at least. Like, at least uh, an accurate number, what I would say, would be in between. We deal around 900 to 1000 damage always. Like all around like sometimes we deal 2000 damage sometimes we even deal 100 damage so i think that would be an accurate number to say we deal around 900 to 1000 damage normally on a day on a daily attack like yeah look at that look at that oh that spin did you sp see that spin room mistake world oh mistake world when will you learn? I'm offering you the last chance to turn back. No, it's good, sir. I'm not gonna turn back because why? Well, I'm just gonna kill you so quickly as you can because you only have 35,000 HP. Like, you are just the same HP as a boss, but you're only level 110, so you're not that strong. And I flipped you over, so is this the best you can do? If so, I'm really, really disappointed in you. Like, look at your HP. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. And bam. Done. Now we're gonna fight the last boss. So we finally meet at last. Oh god, I'm scared. I don't, he has 205. He has 100,000 HP. This could be a little bit of a problem if you can see. He has a ton of HP. So we are just gonna do our best and to hopefully not die. We should look a little bit of our health and... What was that? At least it didn't hit me. At least it didn't hit me. There we go. We already dropped him a little bit of HP. If we just keep on this tactic, I, I think he cannot hit me. And it's basically a cheap fight, but I think this would still be the best tactic to do, basically, is to try to kill them and, you know, just move around him and stabby, stabby, stabby time. Like... Stop it with the clouds! I don't like the clouds, they make me scared. I got a feeling you can one-hit me with those. Like, I don't know what you can do, because I, I actually fought you once before, but that was basically all I did, because I don't know your true damage. You know, I don't know your full damage potential. Like, I don't know how strong you are. Well, you don't deal a lot of damage, lucky enough. And we almost got you 60% down, so we're going good. We're doing really good. Come on. Stop it with your evil clouds! I do not like the evil clouds. There we go. Stabby. Stabby. You think just jump? Can I just not wiggle like this? And just deal overall damage as well? I actually can. I actually can just do this. Look at this. I'm gonna spin around and just deal way more damage. Look at this. Look at this. Backing off. There we go. There we go. We are gonna spin around and keep on stabbing. We need to back off because we need the health potion. There we go. We're gonna continue where we left off. Almost got him down. 50k left. 53k left. 50k now. Come on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You only have a 205. Like, you're not that OP. Oh, Mr. Cloud. Hi there. I did not like that. I did not mi mi like Mr. Cloud. Come on. Keep it going. Are you legit regenerating your health? I do not appreciate that. I do not appreciate when a boss regenerates his health, like, you're so close and then he gets all his health back. Like, that's the biggest troll you can do for a boss. Like, you almost got him down like this, dude. He, he regenerates. Come on. Come on. 2k. BAM! Woo! We got it! Ah! Well, we got him. No! Okay. I... I can't. My spirit. What's your spirit, good sir? My spirit. You fought, Mustak World. Remember one thing. You may have won the battle, but you cannot prevent the new destructious war. It's a simple defeat to spill the booty and to play in my plans. Just wait till you see my real power. 
We'll see who the boss is. We will meet again. Oh, God. I do not appreciate that, that we will meet again. Because, you know, meeting him again. Whoa, you did it. You defeated Zenith in a fight. You are really are a hero, Mustache World. I am? You saved the town of more Lumriel's potential danger. Near words can describe how thankful we are. Kiana's one for exit is still alive, but we must definitely be safe for now. You see, I found a green hammer. That looks... Oh, cool. Yeah, I have this green hammer already. It's not that a good of a hammer because, you know, my weapons that I currently have is way better, but... You have a question mark. Let's see. Continue. I'm proud of you. You've shown what you're capable of. Something no one else about to do. Yay, I did the main storyline. Woo! I'm proud of myself. I did the main storyline all by myself. And now I can equip something cool. Ultimate escape. Uh, skins. Where's the ultimate stuff? Ultimus, ultimus. <gasps> look at me! I look awesome! Defeat Dominus Invictus. I need to find Dominus Invictus, but I probably need to be like a level 100 to actually get there. Like, I need to go to Port Ulcra. And maybe I will be able to go there because at the moment that's level 75. Thunderclaw. And uh, that area over there is, I think, level 95. And that area over there is level 250 plus. Or 200 plus. Like, there are so many high levels that I still need to go to, but we are probably going to be fine. And also, the Obsidian Fang is 120 damage. So, I am wondering, is anything... This is the only strongest weapon. It's only 5,000 tokens, but... Yeah. This looks so beautiful. What is that sword? It's an amazing sword. You never have heard of it. It's a legendary Kalesbringer. It's a sword like no one's. It's a sword. The Meadows and the Chaos during the first Christian War used. It was created by Chaos himself. The rarest weapon in the world. And it looks... It still has its power. Awesome. Sounds cool. Yeah, that actually sounds really cool in the storyline. Like, I wish I could go in here. Besides, it's, you know, teleporting me back. Because I think... Oh, I need to kill... It said something with 200. Let's see. Uh, orcs killed. 60... Total kills over 200. Maybe I need to, like, kill... I don't know. Somebody please tell me how I get that. Do I need to be, like, level 200 or something like that? If so, I need to level a long time with her. Like, she, she's my helping... My helping angel with my helping me level up. Because most of the times, I do not have a lot of time leveling. And I like how this game actually works. Like, you go to a high NPC. You hit him once. And then, bam, it's done. But, uh, yeah. Next time we're gonna go to the crystal cave and I'm gonna farm a little bit on that place for you guys especially Because you know, I, I know you guys like me going to the crystal cave, but uh, yeah We are gonna go to that part over there. We're gonna do the, go to the egg left later again because well I just like going in this place like he is a fun boss I don't know why but he is just fun and oh my god level 122 accuracy Bravery also, you know what I don't like? Whenever I'm recording, people always tend to make background noises like they are opening doors, dropping stuff. I don't understand why people need to do that when I'm recording. So if you ever hear any sounds or anything like that, ooh, fireball. So that means basically people are being annoying in the background again, but I hopefully do not have that. So we are gonna start killing this dude. He has 93k, we remember that from last fight, but this time we are way and way more prepared. We are in an awesome costume, we're wearing Dominus Ultimus' suit. You know, he's OP. He was OP back in the day, but now I owned him, you know, and I spin around and kill him. But, you know, that's how I am. You know, that's how I am. I like to stabby stabby stuff. But I earn a lot of money if you haven't noticed yet. Well, at least for my level, I think it's a decent amount of money because most of the times I think you should not have that quickly that amount of money. So I should probably focus on getting new swords in the future. Maybe you should focus on the staff of the. Uh, I think it was that weird ore name in the crystal cave in the back. You need like 300 of that or 5,000 of those. I actually forgot about that. But you need quite a lot. But that weapon can basically one hit almost everything that you touch. Which is sword or your spare. Whatever it is or staff. But it's really, really OP. So I actually really would love to get that. But yeah. A little bit of easy EXP over here. There we go. 16,000. You should probably restock a little bit on ore. So I... We should probably do this. Um, 
Oh, I'm in hero. I could be hero. I'm in hero. Woo! I like that. I like that. Hey, potion price goes down. It's cool. Okay, interesting. I never actually read what it actually said, but also I I want to know where to get magic. Like, I, I'm gonna check that place over there. If so, if that's the magic place, I would feel really stupid that I didn't see that. Yeah, it's the magic shop. I want to see what kind of magic there is. Like, Mr. Wizards, do you have anything OP? Anything? Anything? But not tokens. It's 25k. Is that really the strongest you own? Yeah. To be honest, it actually seems cool. I wanna use it. I wanna use a fire spell. I wanna see. Ooh. How did somebody actually join my VIP server? Roblox? How did somebody join my VIP server? Nobody is allowed to join this, so. Um, anyway guys, if you enjoyed it, see more next time, make sure you press the like button. The more likes, the more I'm gonna play this game. And yes, please tell me why somebody was able to join my VIP server. Please say it with me. One, two, three. Peace out. Yeah.